Okay, so we live in a rural area and uh, wombats seem to be one of our problems. Um, even in a semi-rural area, the same can be said. Uh, wombats, and they're quite, uh, they're not invasive, they're destructive, um, but they're lovely little creatures and they can do a lot of damage for such a small, cuddly looking creature. So um, I'll just run you through some of our um, tactics of how to get rid of wombats. We had one living underneath our house that we've had to do some work to. So um, our house is on piers. So to start with, we just put the boards across the front there and then buried underneath there is some um, Rio mesh. So there you go, there's the, if I expose that, there's a bit of the Rio mesh. And that is what's important to stop the wombat from digging underneath your house. All right, so the, the reinforced and that, that, that bit of Rio comes out probably 600 mil, just past those strawberries there, out from the edge. So when the wombat comes along, he can't go in on the vertical surface, tries to dig down, can't go down through the, the uh, horizontal surface because he can't dig, he or she can't dig underneath. Now that all works fine if you're trying to keep them from getting out in, but what about if the wombat's already in there and trying to get out? Well, that becomes a bit more of a challenge. And what we've done in the past is we have um, had the, so there you go, you can see a little bit more there. We've put some on the vertical surface to stop them digging under. But what you end up doing is you create, you create a, a, tra a, a trap door. So we just lay the mesh over the surface, flat, attached to the vertical surface. And then when the wombat comes down through his burrow, you've probably got this existing already, comes through his burrow and comes up and out, dump, lifts it up like a trapdoor, comes out, off he goes, she goes, and then when it comes back to go in, it, it can't get in because the, the trapdoor is shut and it can't get in. So we run that um, all the way. Now it's very important, and I'll show you around the back of the house, it's very important to do every single section of your house because they will sniff out an opening, and I'll show you around the other side of the house. Okay, so here's the other side of the house, and the wombat, this was his main source of entry underneath the air conditioner there and would bust through, continually doing damage um, and was causing all sorts of havoc. So we put the bit of boarding up on the vertical surface there, the dark colored stuff. And then um, we pulled out the garden bed and we replaced it with exactly the same Rio mesh. So if I was to dig down there in the garden, I would discover somewhere in there, some metal edging. There's some there, you can see that just there, whoops, sorry, got the seaside daisies in the way there. So there's some there. So I've run that all the way through the garden bed. Seems like complete overkill. Why would you bother doing that? Well, it's all the way underneath that French lavender there. And even though it was under there, the wombat has kept trying to come back and dig through there. But the reinforcing on the horizontal surface, the flat surface has meant that the wombat can no longer make it in. You could use whatever product. You could probably use just normal fencing wire. There's some of the, the Rio. Um, or you could even just use a bit of metal mesh, something similar to that stuff there. The wombat tried to get through that bit just there. And then you've just got to plant your garden over the top. I'll show you an example of what we did at a commercial residence. Okay, so this is 170 Mossvale Road. We just did a bit of a project doing the paving here. And in conjunction also tried to exclude the wombat. Same deal, garden bed all the way down the front here. And... We've laid Rio mesh inside the garden, and and there it is. Now that's the, these gardenias were already here, so we had to make holes inside the Rio mesh in order to pull the gardenias up through the Rio mesh. Um, so that was a bit of a challenge, but you can see the wombat's been trying to get in there. That's the rub marks on the white board there. He's been trying to dig his way through there, but it's been unsuccessful. And then we've been all the way around the building in order to get him out, him or her, I should say. And, you know, off the edge of the paving here, we've put those boards in on the side there, and that's the trapdoor that we had for the wombat to get out. And we just used that as a vertical trapdoor, so it just had a little bit of a, and a little stick there, and when he came out, it just shut behind the wombat, and the wombat couldn't get back in again. So hopefully that gives you some ideas. The two important factors, it has to go all the way around the building and has to come out 600 mil off the, um, the vertical plane of the house.